Well, I thought it was time I did an update. I haven't done an update for ages. And no, I still haven't finished it. The interior is left to do inside it, but that's all that's left to do. Uh, the reason being I had to do a lot of work around this house. And then we travelled to America last year. Let's go look at more of these cars. So there you go. This is how the inside is looking. All the digital dash. And everything's in there. About to put the hood lining in. You have to put the glass in first before you put the hood lining in. And the reason for that is because all these molding trims go through the hood lining. Well, I mean they sit underneath the hood lining. Like this troublemaker. This guy pierces through. You've got to screw all the nuts up on the threads on the opposite side. Then you can put the hood line in. And then you've got to do a leak test. You've got to do a leak test before you do anything. So all of that is good. But these cars, you know, being an old car, they're not like the super sealed cars anyway. All the glass came from America, out of California. So yeah. Still got to finish off a couple of bits of the stainless steel. All the stainless steel I've been polishing up, taking the dents out. Oh, it's fun and games. Fun and games. Here's everything inside. Just to refresh the memory of some people. It's running the LS2. Turbo 700. Nine inch. True track. 411s. I don't know what it'd be like, what RPM I'd be sitting on the highway, we sort of calculated around the two ones, two twos. So we're all getting there. Here's the Mickey Thompsons. Yeah, you guys are probably saying I could have gone for a modern wheel or something like that, but I like the old SS Craggers. They're pretty good. Gives you an idea how bit wide those wheels are. You don't really notice it on the car. Because the car is such a big car, it swallows the wheels. But if you put those wheels on anything, like say like a hot rod, and they're like, man, they're huge. Now, here's my surge tank. In front of it is a Bosch 44 fuel pump. Now, it's all right. But if I had to do it again, I'd go for an EFI unit in the fuel tank. The reason why I didn't, by the time you pay around $1,000 plus shipping, I'm getting close to two grand for that sort of setup. So I left it alone. Gives you a bit of an idea how I've done it. I'm just trying to get the camera up around there. Got the Bilston shocks. In there. So yeah, no, it's all pretty cool. It's all pretty cool. And up there, I don't know, any, through the maze of everything, is one of those um, regulator filter types. So it circulates back. And up here is just a low volume fuel pump. And it just pulls from the main fuel tank and keeps the surge tank full and then the Bosch 44 does all the work for the high volume side of things and there's also a return with your regulator fuel filter we'll start her up some things haven't been set up properly meaning I still have to Gauges still program. There's one of those. 
those uh, retro sound stereos. The reason we went for it was the auxiliary uh, uh, outlet for your iPhones and nanos. Vintage air. So, yeah. This shiny stuff looks like um, uh, Dynamat, which is not, it's just the Nata manufacturers, it's pretty good stuff. Cheaper than Dynamat, still adhesive on one side, and um, no, it's good. So what I love about the modern engines, which is start up, sit there and idle. Have good fuel economy for a V8. Sits there and idles like a dream. Got all my plumbing for the uh, power steering box. OBX stainless steel uh, extractors, which worked out well for this car. It's very good. All the wiring in this car is um, from Auto Wire, and I have to say it's a pretty good product. A little bit confusing in a sense, um, you know, like they have a lot of outlet plugs and things like that and, and uh, I mean they give you multiple options it can get a little bit confusing particularly in this dash area but apart from that all is good and very happy in Australia the uh, codes is you must have retractable seat belts so the seat belt is gonna the retractable side of things are going to sit down there. The top swivel point area will be up around here. We've done it in 57 it worked out well. The back have to have retractables. So I've got to sort them out and make all the areas for them. And basically that's what's left. And finish off the stainless steel.